We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Tras Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. You swore an oath to protect Bastila when you signed up with this mission, just like everyone else in the crew. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know she may not have an official rank in the fleet, but she's the one in charge of this mission, and it's our duty to protect her. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. The Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. Left-click my portrait now. Left-click. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again.
This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. codes to open it. Switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle.
Dark Jedi! This fight is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get in the way! That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used her help. Bastil is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastil alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. here. Damn, another Dark Jedi! I'll try to hold him off! You get to the escape pods! Go! Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods.
into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith.
You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Ender's Fire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastil is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastil was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I and mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastler, not a couple of grunts like us.
Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Yalamoinka <laughs> Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa ni ta poe tikito dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude. Kuyami jus chikata na patoga ya fulki kokogala jiji. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking. Ka chikun ita hotonga tong abog sha u. Achuta. What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing.
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Davix men got there first. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. I've heard of the Exchange. I have to pay him a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like... Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. To nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the... Oh. 
Chang your Turum Chiwifa Una Unachine Nilunka Gratuk Ajor Ha 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 Jimut Maleya Beast White Wall Kava Dumpa Kul Beyeya Moka Papa Chiska Micho Tonga Buksha Umenong Kava Volpa Mulji Vibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Chioka con molera, quien con yo pesa, no va molera allí. Chorrillo toro. Ah, ya chisca don puta. Casa bubaca, tumba toras materia. Awa na rota, ayot ta tumba toras materia. Ashuta, wonga kumbis. Kava tumba kulpi yaya moka pa kipona. Ona na kacho. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have. Ladies and gentlemen. Droid! You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time, he's after fresh meat. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the Mysterious Stranger! Figuring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> and in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadow. You know her! You love her! 
Ice. And in the other... Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but... Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty... Are you joking? We don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. We were happy to... I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do... Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. Do you require healing or medical supplies? Of course. Just step over here.
this planet coming to, huh? Yep. Swami's just walking around the other. Shinjigarts of Lar says you belong. Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> Hey, this schlemmy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big, schlemmy. Time to teach you a lesson, schlemmy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. Evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! Yes, my fellow human, you have seen the light. Gorton Kolu has marked your face. I will remember you when the time to destroy the aliens and the alien lovers is upon us. For now, stay vigilant. Be ready. Trust no... Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Move along. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want... Ready. On it. Damn. Sure. Kinkun shi kai kachin awana wamata. We team and bon rang thong. Kipuna, bonana kichu. Kin ba mule radwana. Thong kin ba no kudnok nek. 
Kava numpa kumpi. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of it. Kenchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak na china pala mula. Tonki ba non ton. Kin kun shi kai kui. Tangabun shan om na. Tanga book sha um nag nong. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Huh. If the Sith... My protection costs have doubled in the last week. That hurt, I bet. Don't hurt me. You don't have to kill. Here, I've got. Fi Here, take the credits. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Tarisian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He You're a little too curious for your own goods. I know all about Sith interrogations. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an 
hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act. Dumpa kunpa yiyamoka fata. Bonanai kachu. 
Kim Kim Kun no ba muli rachi kun tong na bun sa yun yang. Kapa mo ba muli? Ijo ka yun patisa inba. Que bona! Cava tumpa culpa e ia. You asked for this. Bona! Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
Sure.
Kipuna Kava tumpa kulpa yia moka paata Chiyoka kutumpa kulpa yia Kava tumpa kunpa yia moka paata Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Ah! <laughs> 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 
are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu Rana no Prata don't know Sarcha it you a penki What on a woman mulira can chun to bashak no bully muli raji Johnny Tun Turji Chiwi Itado Bola una dichek Bala Mure Slimo Wanga kun bisching I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment.
You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. Maybe so, but the a lot of between the my lawyer. Well, besides, go in and speak. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. The problems with the Sith haven't helped. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around. They might be spies, Gadden. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcars aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to by putting up such a valuable pr- 
So how do you propose we go about rescuing? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastema is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine, but the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. The disguise won't help you get into the Undercity. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. <laughs>